Surprise! <laughs> I can't believe I have to do this again. I'm a lot more uncomfortable than I was last time, so bear with me. But yeah, you saw the title. Coming out again, part two. Didn't expect there to be a part two, and yet here I am. So short version, if you want to watch like 10 seconds of this video and then be able to click off. Been kind of exploring my gender some more, and I think I've said it on some form of non-binary, just makes me the most comfortable. I'm going to start using they, them pronouns, and I've been going by rain in my personal life now, so I'm going to start doing that here on YouTube and on my other social media platforms. So if you wanted like the easy version, that's that. <laughs> Thanks for clicking. Um, have a great day. If you want the long version, I don't really know where to start. <laughs> I obviously came out, I think like a year ago, on this channel as a trans man, and at the time that was genuinely how I felt, and that was what made me feel the most comfortable. And I don't regret my experience being out as trans or living as like a binary male at all, because I think that I needed to go through that to get to where I am today. I was assigned female at birth, I grew up as a girl, and so I had all those experiences, but I feel like for me personally, for my personal gender journey, I needed to experience kind of both binaries. I needed to like obviously have the experience growing up as a girl and then when that didn't fit I kind of swung to the opposite extreme on again that binary and kind of experienced life as a man and I was again I was comfortable like it wasn't like I was unhappy with it but through being able to explore my more masculine side I realized that the best way I can put my gender is that I want to be able to express my femininity, but I want it to be seen as a choice rather than the default. So since I was assigned female at birth, anything feminine that I do has always been seen as like, yeah, of course, like, duh, that's how it's going to go. And that's not what I want. I don't like being seen as woman by default. That makes me violently uncomfortable. <laughs> and so I think that's why... I originally thought and felt comfortable with the identity of being a trans man, but having explored that and lived like that for a little bit, I started feeling uncomfortable that way as well. And so now I just feel like I kind of exist in this genderless void and that's what makes me feel comfortable. I just, I think I don't like gender being applied to me. <laughs> I think that's what it comes out to. So like my life experience up until last year had been having the female gender applied to me and that made me uncomfortable. So I was like, okay, guess I'm a boy. And then as I started to experience that, that also made me uncomfortable. So thus far in my personal life, I have been kind of experiencing being non-binary. I've had people around me using their them pronouns and I've been going by rain and I feel a lot more comfortable with that. So I'm really hoping that sticks this time because I'm sick of having to make videos like this and I'm sick of having to like think through this stuff in my head because it's just complicated and I would like to just exist instead of having all these gender questions in my head. I'd like to be done with it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I feel so much more awkward because I feel like there are going to be people who see me and see me dressing more femininely again, and I feel like there are going to be people who see me and associate me with detransitioning, and I feel like that's a very complicated topic. If you are someone who transitioned and then realized it wasn't for you, I absolutely support you, you know, detransitioning and going back because I think on a personal level, you should feel happy in your skin, right? But I do think that sometimes within the detransition movement, there is a lot of really harmful rhetoric that makes it difficult for people who are trans to access the healthcare that they need. So like, I'm hesitant and I'm anxious because I don't want people to associate me with like the negative side of the detrans community. Again, that is not to say that 100% of the detrans community is negative. Please don't misunderstand me there. I just feel like there is a portion that is very harmful to trans people and I don't want to be associated with them. And I also don't really consider myself detransition because I'm still not the gender I was assigned at birth. Like I still would consider myself trans. I'm just trans into non-binary instead of trans into a man. I hope all that makes sense. I don't know. This is probably a weird video, <laughs> but I was sitting down to film a different video and I wanted to put this on and I was like, it's probably time. I feel like I'm going to get some questions and I'm sick of like, responding to different names in different places. We're just gonna be all out and be out there. So sorry if this is confusing for you guys. I know it's probably irritating for those of you who have <laughs> been here since the beginning to keep having to use different pronouns and different names. I promise I'm not like trying to make things difficult. I'm just trying to feel comfortable in my skin. Uh, so yeah, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being understanding. Sorry if I'm awkward. I don't know how to deal with situations like this. This is why I run a doll channel and not like 
a personal channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hope you guys have a good one. I'll catch you in the next time being much more comfortable talking about things that I like to talk about, which is dolls. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>